Hey everyone, just wanted to do a short video on some good practices for soldering. Uh, we see a lot of uh, work come across our bench here that has obviously leaves a lot to be desired, let's just say that. Um, so I'm just going to cover some basic steps on how to get decent quality solder joints. We're going to use some flux here today that's going to make things a lot easier for us, especially if you're reflowing or, or redoing soldering work. Um, and I'm going to show you my method for getting uh, what I consider to be a reasonable joint. First of all, we're going to pop a little bit of flux on our sheet of glass here. Um, you can apply it directly to the product, but I just find it easier to dip dip our connectors into it and then do it from there. This flux will do a couple of things, but most first and, and, and most important is it reduces oxidization, which allows uh, for a better solder joint and it, it keeps contaminants out of the joint. All right, so all we're gonna do is tin the end of our wire here a little bit, a little bit of solder on it, sucking the fumes away into our little extractor fan there. And we're also gonna apply a little bit to the pad that we're gonna do it to. Now that we've tinned both our wire and the pad that we're gonna solder it to. I'm gonna pick up my wire with some tweezers. I'm gonna place it on top of the joint and I'm gonna heat it from above. You wanna wait until you see all the solder melt down and then you just need to hold the wire still for a few seconds as the solder dries. And there you have it, a nice solid joint. You'll find if the joint is fluxed, you can solder it and desolder it quite a few times and still get a really good finish. That flux acts as a barrier there and burns off a lot of the contaminants, stops oxidization, and allows you to reflow that joint multiple times if you need to, while you still get a good finish each time. Another really important thing when you're doing your soldering is to pick the correct tip. All right, if you're doing XT60 leads or ESC leads, power lead, all your big connectors and conductors will require a little bit more heat. Um, you will, however, find that if you use that tip and that method on a very small fine wire, you will end up melting the insulation back. So the best way to do a finer wire is to pick a soldering iron that has a thinner tip, reduce your heat a little bit, a little bit of flux on your conductor, tinning your conductor, A little bit of flux on the pad you plan to solder to. Tinning the pad. Using your tweezers, hold it in place and keep it steady as you just heat the joint and wait for it to dry. You probably can't make it out, but the finish is definitely not as good. And the solder tends to drag away with the point of your tip if you don't have flux there. Basically, the solder's heading towards the area that is the hottest. And without that flux there to act as a little barrier, it wicks away back towards the iron as you draw it away. Last but not least, guys, it's important if you do use flux to just give your board a little bit of a clean afterwards. I'm gonna solder this one on. You can see that the iron here is taking a lot longer to heat up that bigger conductor. Obviously, a bigger iron here would make a lot, lot more sense. All right, you can see right there that we don't have a nice shiny finish. We'll swap to the larger iron, which dissipates a lot more heat very quickly. And you'll see straight away that it just heats that pad up. All right, once your joint is done, probably the best method is to get yourself a little Q-tip, put some isopropyl alcohol on it and use it in a way that wipes the flux away from the connector. Some people like to use a toothbrush. However, I find that rubbing the toothbrush on the board just serves to spread the flux around. We'll add some isopropyl. Once you've got your isopropyl on board, wipe off that flux and throw out that Q-tip when it's finished. The sign of a good quality solder joint, guys, will be nice, shiny surface, very little sharp edges, good mechanical bond, you shouldn't be able to pull it away. And uh, once you clean that flux off, everything should look nice and clean. 
Hopefully this gives you guys some uh, tips and techniques to uh, increase the quality of your soldering and thus the quality of your parts and the lifespan of your parts. Have fun. <laughs>